Not only Englishmen will recognize the view, but should they fail, the river and the memorial theater would decide it, telling them they were in Stratford-on-Avon, the birthplace of Shakespeare. Youths are stuff will not endure, so he sang, yet he himself, like all poets, is ever young. And, as though to confound his own words, will endure as long as men and women have regard for the things of the spirit. Every year they come in thousands to see for themselves his birthplace. <laughs> Details of this house are known throughout the world. Purchased in 1847 for preservation as a national memorial, it makes a fascinating study, for here is living history, a reminder of the genius once sheltered in its walls. And to remind us that the bard was human, close by there lies yet another link with the past. William Shakespeare and Anne Hathaway, two names as immortally linked as his own Romeo and Juliet. It's understandable the crowds roll up. 150,000 to this cottage each year, a high proportion from overseas. The name of Shakespeare and its associations have created a major industry, and the small town of Stratford is indeed a boom town. The Guild Hall and Grammar School are but two more of the interesting historic places for the eager tourist. For everything to do with the Swan of Avon arouses an enthusiasm that has grown steadily with the years. This is indeed Shakespeare country, and the visitor is left in no doubt. Whether it be food, shelter, tea or beer, you partake of it in the name of the world's leading genius. Postcards, of course, are a sellout, for you don't make a pilgrimage to Stratford and then forget to tell your friends. But what's this? It's a puppet shop with a whole gallery of Shakespeare's characters on show, to say nothing of the playwright himself. Puppets are one of the earliest forms of dramatic art, so they at least should earn a smile of approval from the shade of the bard. <music> Waldo Lanchester is a masterly puppeteer, but like us all, he would grant first place to the greatest puppeteer of all. Even in stone, Shakespeare seems still to survey with tolerance our passions, whims and follies. <laughs> 